This week, we've been talking a lot about box partita in uh, E major and the preludio. And Gil was telling me about sort of a concept that he has of it, that the whole thing is kind of a chromatic ascension. Um, so that's to say a chromatic scale. Some people may not know what a chromatic scale is. I'm gonna play you one. It's just, if you were on the piano, you would, would hit every single key, black and white. So it sounds like this. <laughs> All right, so Gil, do explain. Well, you know, I don't really know. This is kind of a Reader's Digest, um, oversimplified uh, reading of this preludio, but I think it's maybe, maybe interesting. And I guess if people uh, disagree or have other ideas, please, by all means, let us know in the comments. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I'm, it's very simplified because I'll be leaving out a lot of the details and the beautiful voice leading in this preludio, but basically the idea is the, the motive of the piece, right? The E, D sharp, E, it's basically an E, right? It's a We're starting on e. e, so I'll give you a... Yes, yes, we have, so it's, it's just an E with a decorated, you know, it's like a lower neighbor, D sharp. And the idea is, you know, we drop down an octave, it's still an E. And another oxen. It's all E, you know. It's all E. It's all E. It's all E. It's all E. Wait, what's that? Right. So now the E has become an E sharp. So that's that's it. that's that's the F sharp. So we've gone E E sharp F sharp. And somehow the F sharp is still there. It's all F sharp. And what's that? that? Be, that's the next note. No. No. It's an F double sharp. Oh. <laughs> that's the F double sharp. F so double gonna, sharp. Sometimes. We've done. And now we're at the F double double sharp. No. no. <laughs> now we're at the G sharp. And this is all G sharp. Still G sharp. A. Yeah. And so we've sort of climbed up from an E to an A. And now we're sort of starting all this same material on A. So the, the, you know, like the next page and a half is all A until... A sharp. A sharp. And then D sharp. Where is the C sharp? Here it is. And here it's a little bit tricky because the, the D actually isn't quite harmonized. But we already have a hint here. The highest note is the D. Maybe we will get to the D. We're going to the D. Still D. Oh, I hear C sharp here. Is 
this one more D I think the D comes here and now it's like now we're looking for the D sharp and it, and it does come but I don't think that's really the one and D sharp that's the one and this one is harmonized and it's a big five chord and we're on the D sharp And finally, all the way up to the to the E. And what's cool, of course, is that we start on the one chord, on the tonic. And then we have a big five chord. You know, we go, we climb up chromatically to the five chord. And, and so that's E, D sharp, E, right? That's, that is the motive of the whole piece except this time instead of instead of going down a half step and then back up a half step we actually climb up 11 half steps and then finish it off there are so many things to listen for in bach and, and here's one more it's pretty cool that ascension the whole entire piece it's just just kind of a speculative thing and, and the, the voice leading is much more complicated than that but i can imagine bach sitting at the organ improvising and keeping track of okay, which half step have I reached now? I love it. Thank you for sharing that, Gil. That was that's so cool. Thanks, Laurie.